the time and the money. If you want to start a side hustle online, make extra money online, have an income that is not in the rat race 9 to 5, how do you find the time and the money to do it? Life is busy as it is already. If you don't give yourself the chance to succeed, you will always and forever regret it. There are two main reasons, or should I say misconceptions, why people don't get started on their online dream. The perceived lack of time and their perceived lack of money. There are ways to find time and to find money in your life. And I'll share them with you in this video. So let me explain what I mean and how you can find both. I often find there is a trade-off in life between time and money. If you have the time, you don't have the money. And if you have the money, you probably don't have the time. If you have the time, it's probably because you were laid off or you're in between jobs or you're on a long-term sick leave and then you probably don't think you have the money. And if you have the money, you probably don't think you have the time because the money is coming in from a full-time job which demands of you to commute, to work, hours and hours and hours, at least five days a week, right? And once you get home, you're exhausted, so there's no time or energy to create something big. But listen, as your coach, I'm here to help you find a couple of time slots each week where you can prepare your business and at the same time start funding your side hustle adventure. First of all, a time slot is an amount of time in between things. I'm borrowing this expression from the telecom world where you in mobile technology create time slots to be able to send information on radio waves. But hey, enough of that. So a time slot could be 15 minutes before a meeting starts, or it could be 45 minutes between work and your yoga class. But how do you go about finding these time slots? Because I promise you, they're hidden in plain sight right in front of you. And I do think you know all this already. You're clever. You just haven't thought about it or taken action on it. It's too easy and evident, but now you will. So let's start with the time slots and then go on to finding the money. Because without the time slots, none of the other stuff will get done anyway, right? So we need to find the time slots in order to get around to actually taking action to prepare, launch and scale your online side hustle business. So when finding time slots in your calendar, it's good to be realistic, but not too realistic. There also has to be some element of sacrifice in there. No success without sacrifice, right? All right, we'll start by identifying your time thieves. An enormous time thief in people's lives nowadays is so-called social media. You think you're on TikTok for five minutes, when actually it's been 35 minutes since you picked up your phone. And this is wasted time that you will never ever get back. So for what? I mean, you could have spent 30 minutes doing some real income producing activities. You could have learned something important like how to market an affiliate link on your web page or on Facebook. You could have read up on how to start a blog or even created a blog post. And I know you might have some objections to this too and you're saying Malin I need this time it's relaxing time for me and I hear you I understand that but um, what if you could actually relax for real for five minutes with, for example, Calm or Headspace or a real meditation app? Spend five minutes on that to really calm your mind if you need that or when you need that and then spend the 30 minutes that you were on TikTok instead creating really valuable activities learning something or producing something for your future business. And I do understand you want to be on social media too, but maybe just 10 minutes once a day would be enough just to stay on top of things. Another time thief, I don't know if you agree with me or not, tell me in the comments, is watching or reading the news. Could you condense this activity maybe and just briefly scan through the most important news and not get too deep into it? Just to have a clue what's happening in the world and then spend the rest of that old time that you used to do this on something more valuable. Maybe creating an awesome thumbnail for a video or creating a blog post or reading up on something that you need to learn. Now tell me what other time thieves you can think about and put it in the comments. What are some other ways of finding time slots in your life? We're not done yet. If you're commuting, you could probably listen to webinars and courses online, right? Spend the time learning while on the move. If you're picking someone up from hockey practice, 
and you're in the parking lot waiting for this someone, maybe you could spend those 10, 15, 20 minutes learning something. As you're finding your time slots during the week, also make sure to look at the weekends. Are there sessions of endless scrolling in there? Could you sacrifice parts of those? Maybe you could instead create a list of blog posts or a list of future videos that you want to share with your audience. Now you might have found that you actually have up to an hour a day to spend on income producing activities some real work like setting up your website. I'd like you to write down these time slots that you have now found for the next seven days. Look at the results. How many did you find? And now before you block them off in your calendar, ask yourself, have you been realistic? And have you also made a couple of sacrifices? Good, go ahead and block them. Then go ahead and write down what you think you will fill these time slots doing income producing activities. Those are activities that create value right now in your business or in the future. Next, it's time to find the money. You know what? This is Swedish money and Sweden is a cash free society. So I don't even recognize the Swedish bills anymore. Funny. So now that we're talking about finding the money, I'm not talking about a business where you produce and sell retail merchandise in a big scale. I'm talking about this small online business that you can basically run yourself, maybe with a little bit of help of some other consultants. You can run from the comfort of your own home or maybe from a condo somewhere in a sunny corner of the world. So if you have a savings account with a couple of dollars, keep them there. And then do this. Next time you get your paycheck, make sure to settle all your bills and debts from that paycheck and then also set aside the budget that you have for food and other expenses in the coming period of time until you get your next paycheck. And now I want you to critically review the bills that you have and the debts that you have. Do you need all those products and services that are related to those bills? Really need? Or can you make some sacrifices? Can you cancel a few subscriptions? Do you need all the channels? Do you need all the apps or whatever? Can you cancel a few of them? That will release some money for you. So now that you paid your bills and you put aside the budget for food and other expenses, you have canceled a couple of your subscriptions. Now look at what's left. There's gotta be something left, right? Maybe not much, but that doesn't matter. The important thing now is that you start actively taking care of that. Divide it in half. Put one half into funds, stocks and shares for long-term saving and investment. The other half, put it into your savings account, make them easily accessible. So immediate costs for your business, like buying a microphone or something that's taken from your savings account and long term, like bigger investments will be funded by your stocks, shares, etc. Now repeat these actions every time you get a paycheck, because over time you're going to see that your savings are increasing and that you're building up capital to be able to invest. Great, now you can relax and focus on your goals. Focus on your goals back there over at the horizon. Although you have booked your time slots and started saving, you now need to find out which actions to take, income producing activities to fill those time slots. So watch this video next, I'll see you there.